So let's do a quick update on the reporting about Alan Weisselberg, Chief Financial Officer for the Trump Organization, and what New York District Attorney Cy Vance is trying to do with or to Mr. Weisselberg. And then let's do a quick behind the scenes prosecutorial peek at how prosecutors go about turning a defendant into a cooperating witness. I can tell you why we do it, because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So let's do a quick update on the New York District Attorney's investigation into Donald Trump and the Trump Organization, and specifically that coveted potential cooperating witness, Alan Weisselberg, the chief financial officer for decades for the Trump Organization. So the New York Times just reported that the DAs in New York now have Alan Weisselberg's personal tax returns. And they're exploring whether some of the compensation that came from the Trump Organization to Weisselberg and his family was properly reported on Alan Weisselberg's tax returns. You know, there are stories about um, Weisselberg getting apartments and lavish gifts and cars and tuition for his grandchildren. And it may be that all of these benefits weren't properly reported on his tax returns. That just seems to be one of the many problems facing Alan Weisselberg. What can we glean from this story? Well, first of all, I think we can glean that Alan Weisselberg is not yet cooperating with prosecutors. Why do I say that? Because once we bring a defendant on board or a potential defendant on board and make him a cooperating witness, we try to go radio silent. So I don't think you would be hearing these stories about the DA's office still going hard after Weisselberg if he was already cooperating. The other thing is that prosecutors have lots of ways to squeeze potential defendants and try to flip them, try to make them into cooperating witnesses. Here are the three most common ways, and I suspect all of these three possible approaches are still in play with Alan Weisselberg. The first is you can give somebody a non-prosecution cooperation agreement. What does that mean? Well, if prosecutors really want somebody's cooperation because it's important to go after a bigger criminal fish, the prosecutors can say, look, your crimes were relatively minor in the scheme of things, given what we're investigating, we're willing to waive all prosecution of you, basically give you immunity if you will agree to provide truthful information, testify before the grand jury, and testify at trial. That's a non-prosecution cooperation agreement. Another approach is that Alan Weisselberg could plead guilty to some of the crimes he's committed, assuming he's committed crimes, and agree to cooperate. And that can be done either before indictment, it can be a pre-indictment, guilty plea with cooperation, or after he's indicted. So think Joel Greenberg. Remember, he was indicted on dozens of crimes, ended up pleading guilty to six, and is now cooperating against Matt Gates and others. Would sure be nice to see an indictment one of these days. So they could um, work with Alan Weisselberg they could have him plead guilty to some of the crimes he's committed, if any, and have him cooperate. But here's the third way, and this is when a defendant wants to go hard, does not want to cooperate with the prosecution. Right? So let's assume Alan Weisselberg has decided, I'm throwing in my lot with Donald Trump. That's my man. I'm standing by him. I will not cooperate with the prosecutors. Well there is still a way to develop him as a cooperating witness. And folks, I did this multiple times in my 30 years as a prosecutor. If there was somebody like that, like Alan Weisselberg, and I really needed him, not just wanted him, let me pause there. I suspect the New York District Attorneys want Alan Weisselberg to cooperate, but I don't think they need him to cooperate in order to bring charges against Trump and company. 
we'll learn more about that moving forward. But if there's somebody that I really, really need, because only he can give me the bigger criminal fish on that food chain, and that person doesn't want to cooperate, you know what I'll do? I'll say, fine, here is my promise to you. I'm going to indict you. I'm going to take you to trial. I'm going to convict you. And then we're going to sit down and we're going to have another little talk. Deal? And I've done that. I've taken somebody who wanted to stay strong, wanted to go hard, who didn't want to want to flip, took him to trial, got him convicted, sat down with he and his lawyer again before he was to be sentenced. And I said, what are you going to do now, chief? Because now you're facing 50 years, 70 years, 100 years. And then I'll say to them, him, there's still an opportunity here. You can still enter a post guilty verdict cooperation agreement. What does that look like? Well, you're already convicted, so you don't have to plead guilty to anything. Another footnote, actually a convicted defendant can agree to plead guilty to something he was convicted of, which, which moots out his appeal. But you can enter into a cooperation agreement after the jury has convicted you, but before you've been sentenced, and we the prosecutors will speak on your behalf to your judge at the time you're sentenced and say, you know what? Better late than never when it comes to cooperation. And this defendant doesn't deserve the kind of benefit he might have gotten up front if he cooperated before he was indicted, before he was tried, before he was convicted, but because he is now cooperating truthfully against the bigger fish in the criminal organization, Your Honor, give him a somewhat reduced sentence. So if Alan Weisselberg wants to go hard, throw in his lot with Donald Trump, stand by his man, that is another way for the prosecutors to ultimately win his cooperation. But you know, Alan Weisselberg has got a lot to lose because there are reports that the district attorney is looking at Alan Weisselberg's family members, right? We've heard about his son, Barry Weisselberg, who did what? He ran the Donald Trump ice rink in Central Park. I don't know if Barry was the guy who sits in the little booth and asks you if you want figure skates or hockey skates. Not sure what Barry's role is. And I'm not suggesting Barry has done anything wrong, committed any crimes. But you can bet that the New York District Attorney is looking into Barry Weisselberg. Because if he committed crimes, he could be used as leverage to get Pop Allen to plead guilty. One of other, one of um, Allen Weisselberg's other sons, Jack Weisselberg, is an executive for an outfit called Ladder Capital, a financial outfit that loans money to the Trump Organization, among others, not saying Jack did anything wrong. We also know that Allen Weisselberg's former daughter-in-law, Jennifer Weisselberg, has said she's given tons and tons of documents to the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. And I think she said, and I've been interviewed six times. So she has downloaded lots of information about the Weisselberg family. So Alan Weisselberg has, I would say, a lot to lose and everything to gain if he flips on Donald Trump. If he sticks with Donald Trump, let me tell you, the Allen Weisselberg domino will fall. It's just a question of how fast he will fall and how hard that particular domino will hit the table when it falls. Because one way or another, I get the sense that given the extended grand jury that was put in place a grand jury that's sitting for six months to hear all of the evidence against Trump and the Trump Organization, it sure looks like justice is coming. Oh, it's taking time. And we're frustrated. And we're anxious. And we're thirsty for justice. But it does look like it's coming. And justice matters. Folks, as always, thank you for tuning into these daily videos. If you'd like to more formally support our all-volunteer efforts here, our mission, our content, please feel free to go over to patreon.com. You can sign up to become a patron, 
And if you do, I'll send you some Team Justice stickers and a personal handwritten note of thanks. And as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.